Okay guys, the Game Awards is closer than ever on December 7 and we have got a ton of promising games that we can expect or that we hope to see as well. This video will concentrate on the games that have the most chances of being revealed during the event. All signs points to this project being there or revealed soon after. So let's get into it right away and don't forget to like the video to support and to please the algorithm gods so people can see this and get excited. Let's go. First off, we have the AAA open world Jurassic Park game that's been in development for quite some time now. This might be the first time that you're hearing of a new Jurassic Park game, but it's been heavily rumored just recently to have a huge presence at the Game Awards, thanks to industry insiders like Jeff Grubb for mentioning it. Another gaming insider also claims that this new Jurassic Park game is in the works just as the franchise celebrates its 13th birthday. The insider shares that the new AAA game is in development and it is one that fans are hungry for and have been waiting for years and years. He said, so recently I heard a AAA Jurassic Park game is in development, though I'm not sure who is the developer or publisher, all I know is it's the game fans have been hungry for. So that got me thinking, what type of game would you like to see narrative driven Jurassic Park game be? And what developers would you like to see tackle it? He then adds that it might be a semi open world like the new Tomb Raider games plus survival and puzzles with combat aspects of alien isolation. He then says that he'd like to see platforming, puzzles and finding tools that allow you to explore new areas and avoid dinosaurs without turning into Turok or something of the sort. It's not an easy feat but if couple with top-notch storytelling, I think there could be really something special here, he says. Keep in mind this is an insider, so maybe he's giving info. Next up, we have the new Bioshock game. It's officially confirmed to be coming and has been in development for a few years now. People have been saying it would be the best time to reveal its first trailer to excite people and get them on board, and many industry insiders are saying a reveal is closer than ever since 2023 began. From what we know, it's being worked on over at 2K by a studio called Cloud Chamber and will be sort of an open-world game with different biomes to explore in a completely new setting that we haven't seen before in any Bioshock game, with impactful, character-driven stories that will make you question reality. A lot of people are still following a previous leak on the game saying that it will take place in some kind of weird arctic setting, but we don't know nothing about it yet as the developers have been very secretive. We know that Ghost of Tsushima's narrative lead is one of the main people working on it and she is very excited to show it off to the world, I'm excited as well. Next up we have Ark Raiders. This is one of the games that I'm most sure it will be revealed at the Game Awards. The team working on this consists of ex-Battlefield developers and the same team is also working on the finals as we speak. But Ark Raiders is also very far in development as it just had a closed alpha and it's currently looking for new people to join the fun in, in its upcoming test. Ever since Ark became an extraction shooter instead of a PvE game, I've been cautiously watching it from afar but myself having seen leaked gameplay from it, I do feel it has a lot of potential and I'm excited for its future. It looks greedy, realistic and not too out there for a PvP VE game. The open world looks actually photorealistic and consists of different unique locations. One major thing that will be very cool that people still don't really know about is the fact that each enemy robot in this game has its own mind. And Park Studios, the developers, created an artificial intelligence that has the robots take its own decisions on how to attack players and where to go for safety. Each robot will be very dangerous and completely different than the other, and the game also features destructible environments, just not on the scale of the finals. Next up we have Project Awakening, I've been holding myself from making videos on this game recently, but there has been a ton of little rumors and theses here and there from the game, and all signs points to a big gameplay reveal very very soon, very possibly at the game awards. This is one game that I and a lot of other people have been waiting for years. This game has been in development for at least 6 years now, and has been said to be a true AAA blockbuster open world medieval game with photorealistic graphics, realistic combat and animation. This game has been pitched as the ultimate greedy medieval experience with no RPG elements at all, only your own character that you can create from scratch and that will evolve over time as it becomes stronger. There are no levels, no abilities, only realistic elements that feels like it belongs there. For example, if your character has a huge knight armor, it will be slow at first but will become stronger and more more muscled up over time and will be able to wield different weapons and armors and do unique attacks, as opposed to a more light character that will be faster and more agile. It's also confirmed to feature at least 12 players go up. Next up we have Terminator Survival Project. Not much is known about this game, only that it is pretty far in development and that we should expect its official reveal quite soon. It's being pitched as a massive open world survival AAA project set in the post apocalyptic world of the Terminator and is set between the 
events of Judgment Day, which is the Skynet nuclear strike that causes the apocalypse, and the formation of John Connor's resistance. The game will feature an original story that draws upon the events portrayed in the movies. It's safe to assume we will have to survive against many of those machines in the game. We also don't know if it will feature multiplayer as well. Next up, we have Play Dead New Game. From the creators of Limbo and Inside comes a new, very ambitious, third-person action-adventure sci-fi game that people have been waiting for years now. This studio has been extremely secretive and hasn't shared much or anything at all from their upcoming game. We only have a few concept arts here and there, and we know it is the biggest project they've ever worked on. With it now being a third-person game as opposed to their other games being side-scroller kind of games. We know it will supposedly feel very grandiose, it will be filled with wow moments and acts as a discovery experience where you explore unknown places mankind has never set foot on. Next up we have Project TH which could very well be at the Game Awards. Next up we have the new Tomb Raider game which is an heavy development and could see a major reveal at the event. That's reportedly some kind of reboot or we could say a reimagining of the series since the last game Shadow of the Tomb Raider pretty much ended Lara Croft's journey and that is when its publisher decided to officially end this character's story. According to new rumors and leaks the new Tomb Raider reboot will be revealed very soon as its developers have reportedly been pressured to create an official reveal for the public. Crystal Dynamics are confirmed to be fully back creating this new Tomb Raider universe and they've also revealed that this new game will use the Unreal Engine 5 to its most extreme capabilities. The last Tomb Raider games used the company's own engine but Unreal Engine 5 is what they truly wanted for this reboot. They said this new engine translates into next level storytelling and gameplay experiences in beautiful different locations around the world. Lara Croft will face dangerous enemies in environments that will feel like real life. Our goal is to push the envelope of fidelity and to deliver the high quality cinematic action adventure experience that fans deserve from both Crystal Dynamics and the Tomb Raider franchise. Next up we have Crimson Desert who's supposedly still releasing sometime in early or in middle 2024 so a new gameplay reveal might very well happen. Pearl Abyss might have got a masterpiece on their hands here, I really hope so. I'm praying that everything we're seeing here is actually real, I really do because this is the open world RPG that I feel a lot of people have been waiting for. I remember seeing a leak about a medieval game being made by Rockstar Games, with it being pretty much GTA but in medieval times. Since this game will probably never happen, at least for a couple of years, Crimson Desert surprisingly looks like what if GTA or Red Dead Redemption was in medieval times with fantasy added in, and a parkour system a la Assassin's Creed. Man, this game seems to have all the features. I mean, you can steal horses, carts, fight random villagers or monsters, rob people, go into 
to their houses, get chased by guards all across the world because you're wanted, pet animals, explore different biomes, fight different monsters, join factions, and so on. Next up, we have Kingdom Come Deliverance. This one is more of a wish list than anything else, but I and pretty much everyone feel it is time for Warhorse Studios to reveal the sequel to Kingdom Come. The team has been teasing us for years and years, and we've had plenty of rumors concerning it over the past two years or so. It's officially coming, we know that. We know the developers are actively working on it as we speak, and we also know one of its voice actors leaked that it was working on it, but we still don't have any details on what it'll actually be about. The first game is the most beautiful, unforgiving medieval open world action game that I have pretty much ever played, and it is exactly why so many people love it. It is the most historically accurate medieval game that ever existed, and I'm so excited for its imminent reveal. It must be coming soon, it must be. Next up, we have the new John Wick game, which the Game Awards will be the perfect place to announce that it is officially coming. Not a gameplay trailer, just a teaser trailer and revealing who is working on it. Now, if you didn't know, this ambitious John Wick game was already in the talks months and months ago, in 2022 during an earning calls of Lionsgate, for example, which Lionsgate owned the John Wick IP, where it said that executives at the film studio have been fielding proposals for a new video game based on the Keanu Reeves action series. Rumors included the developers of combat game Saifu, Ubisoft, and Remedy. This would have to be a truly big AAA game, the executive said, but at that time, they shied away from sharing any further specifics due to the pending nature of the discussions. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we believe there is a big AAA game to be made out of John Wick, they said. We have been fielding proposals. We certainly are interested in moving that forward, but I don't want to say anything more about that at this time. Now today, we finally have confirmation that this new John Wick game is coming and that they're actively taking pitches from gaming developers around the world and every single dev has a lot of enthusiasm around the IP. Devs rumored to include slow clap creators of Sifu, Ubisoft, Remedy and a lot more devs. Next up we have Project 007. IO Interactive creators of Hitman have been hard at work on this game ever since Hitman 3 fully released. It is their main game at the moment and could surely have a reveal at the Game Awards. Just recently, Edge Magazine was able to have an interview with IO Interactive CEO Akana Brown about the upcoming game and learn more about what the studio is hoping to achieve with it and the plans are ambitious. It seems it will be a way bigger and ambitious game than Hitman 3 which is already big in its own terms so that could be very exciting. First of all, it is said that Project 007 will be a more scripted experience than Hitman's free-for-all missions. Hitman gave you targets to assassinate and then you were left on your own to decide how to do it. You could discover infinite opportunities as you explore the open maps and then go on from there. And you could also cause absolute chaos and shoot everyone. Project 007 though, as is to be expected, will be more linear, high stake mission oriented where everything you do will have an impact on the mission. You won't be given infinite possibilities because you're James Bond and you infiltrate secret bases in a stealthy, more serious way. Most of the maps won't be open ended as well because James Bond has never really been about that, though it'll feel more epic and grandiose. The game has been officially pitched as being the ultimate spy graph fantasy where we'll be able to do what every spy has always wanted, or what James Bond can do like in the movies. Finally, we have the new Metro game. 4A Games have been working on it for years now and it is also reportedly fully playable in its, in its entirety and has been for more than a year now. All signs points to a big reveal extremely soon and what better place than the game awards. In 2020, 4A Games announced via its website that it's no secret they have already started work on the next Metro game. Using everything they've learned from the last 15 years, they've set their sights even higher. The next title is being built for Gen 9 consoles and PC with a complete overhaul of their engine and renderer to take advantage of the new power, storage and hardware supported ray tracing afforded by the new consoles. Details on what the game entails are scarce, but it was said the game starts off the player in a dream sequence where you'll then wake up at your base of operations. Gameplay will follow the classic Metro formula of stealth, crafting, looting, resources and more. The team is still committed to delivering a great story driven single player experience. This is what the Metro series is founded on. If you guys are excited for the reveals at the Game Awards on December 7, make sure you support this video right now and of course subscribe to stay tuned as I'll make plenty of videos on it. Thank you.